Yesterday, Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds released the latest single from their upcoming Council Skies album. It's called Dead to the World, and while I wouldn't normally do a feature on a new Noel single, I've decided to this time because it's really good. In my opinion, it sounds a bit like the older, wiser cousin of Let's All Make Believe, and is possibly Noel's best song since he wrote that one. This new track, along with the previous single, Easy Now, are both, in my opinion, a massive return to form. And they seem to show, at long last, Noel moving away from all the very simple groove-based stuff and back into the masterful chord sequences and timeless songs that most people love him for. For some time now, many of Noel's singles have sounded a bit like this. But what most people consider his greatest compositions all had fairly complex chord sequences. And excitingly, in the last two releases we seem to be hearing Noel recapturing that magic. Even Liam Gallagher seems to have been impressed, tweeting just today, how can such a mean-spirited little man write such a beautiful song? So today I thought I would talk you through how to play Noel's new tune, Dead to the World, on guitar, so that you can appreciate the chord sequence and the new direction Noel seems to be going in for yourself. So this song opens in the key of E flat that you would normally play way up here. But Noel is clearly playing ringing open chords. Now he might have done a Johnny Marr and tuned his whole guitar up by one semitone, but I doubt it. I think he's getting those ringing open chords in E flat, an unusual key for guitar, just by putting a capo on the first fret and playing in D. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna give you the chords as if there's no capo. Most people are probably gonna end up playing it without a capo anyway. Have a listen as I play you through the intro. This song is in six, eight time. So instead of counting the normal one, two, three, four, we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six. And Noel's playing it with his signature Britpop swing. So you can kind of get that, that swing rhythm by going one, two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Now that first chord is a really nice crunchy chord called a D major nine. It's a bit like the opening riff from the Travis song, Turn, which is a D shape being moved up the fretboard. So to make Noel's first chord in this song, you make a regular D, then take off your middle finger and slide that shape up four frets. One, two, three, four. You don't want to be hitting the bottom two strings, just the top four. He plays two six eight bars on that chord and then literally just moves it down one fret from here to here. This second chord is a D minor nine which some of you will recognize as the main chord in Get Off Your High Horse Lady. And so those two chords just move backwards and forwards to create the verse sequence. So I'm gonna play you through the verse. It's not been out for 24 hours yet, so I don't have it memorized, and I'm gonna read the lyrics off the screen. I can lend you a dream Till we meet again There are 
three main parts to this song. There's that verse sequence, there's a bridge and a chorus. The bridge sequence plays a bar of G, a bar of B minor, another bar of G, and then a bar of E7. Of course, it's a brand new song, so there's no footage of him playing it live yet to get the chords absolutely perfect, but this is what I think he's playing. And if you say so So that's the verse sequence and the bridge sequence, and all that's left is the chorus. The chorus sequence is a bar of D, then one of G, then B minor, and then E7 again, and it does that line twice. And here I think we hit on the reason Noel decided to put a capo on one, potentially. Instead of belting the chorus 90s style, he sings it in a really soft falsetto. And so I suspect the capo is just nudging the song up into his comfortable zone for singing falsetto. But if love ain't enough to make it alright, leave me there to the world. If love ain't enough to make it alright, leave me there to the world. Whereas in the past, a lot of Oasis songs followed a very predictable structure. This one has got all kinds of different little sections and tags and links in it. But there we have covered all the main parts. If you would like to download the complete chord sequence and layout, I've done a transcription of it, which is available to download for free on my website. So go help yourself to that. But in the meantime, go and check out the full lyric video on Noel's channel. I hope you enjoy it. Fingers crossed, it's a sign of things to come. And I now personally can't wait to hear the upcoming album.